I don't know what this man is doing, he thinks he can kill me. Look, I have an Aegis and an agent who can deal damage while I'm in Aegis, so doesn't work in your favor, my man. What is up beautiful people, it's Soladin here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Hera as mid-mage company here by what looks like a Mulan in jungle. Playing against what looks like a Scylla and the set in jungle, pretty straightforward. We started off at the speed buff as per usual, we are clearing, our clear is pretty good, our one is dropping the front line to the back and then hitting both the front line and the back line at the same time. But overall, I would say that Scylla should have a better clear. Even though we... Oh, look at that damage. Why does my 2 hit so hard? My 2 is a line ability. Pretty wide too. Uh, that also applies a taunt. Uh, transformation more like. It's a... Uh, let's harass her a little bit. She's still level 1 for some reason. That's great. So my 2, as you can see, applies a very potent CC transformation. She's silenced. She cannot attack. She cannot do anything. Which is very, very strong. It's like Milan is fortunately allergic to clear. We're gonna ask her to do what she's supposed to do. I'm gonna go straight for that red buff. Not tank it but until she comes. Yeah, just a couple of hits. Not a major deal. Grabbing the red buff. We have a lot of pressure. Still, I should still be outpoked. So, Milan is also level 3. Oh, he didn't get her. If she got her, we probably would have killed her. Or at least got her beats. Yeah, definitely got her beats. But if the reaction is not there, she might have still got pulled. Looks like our dueling got ganked, but Mulan rotated for their mids. Uh, for their small camp, which is not exactly worth it, to be honest. Okay. Does she have a dash? She have a dash. She should have a dash. She should not have a one, but she definitely should have a dash. Can I still kill her though? She she forgot to pop it. She was so busy juking my ability. Your right tower is under attack. Let's stuck up the minions a little bit. Okay, good clear, good clear. Didn't get it. So the range of my two is pretty significant. Uh, and uh, it's a very powerful CC with really good scaling. It, it hits really hard late game when we got a lot of power. Our three is a shield. It's a percentage shield from our mana, I believe. And that also speeds us up and gives damage to Argus when we have him active. She tried her best to hit me, did not really succeed with that. We gotta hit her with a one. Can I can I kill? Oh wait. Oh no, she she's DC. That's unfortunate. I was too late there to realize that she's DC. That's unfortunate. Uh kinda scummy a little bit. But just don't punish me for that. I wasn't aware. I guess she frozen. I get those freezes very often right now in Smite for some reason. Like some good coding from our developers, I guess. Um, just you, you just freeze the game, and what whichever direction you were moving at the time is the direction you're gonna go. And it looks like that's exactly what happened to her because she's still not DC'd. So despite uh, us getting a kill in mid, uh, we are still behind as a team because apparently our dual lane is having a lot of struggle. But that's understandable considering that they have Emoja. Emoja is very, very strong as a support. Retreat. Retreat. Yeah, they are struggling and Mulan is not paying attention. Their set is ganking for the second time now. But Mulan for some reason tries to kill the Scylla, which is, to be honest, pretty impossible. She's very safe. I was saying that exactly when I murdered her. Look at the set here. He's thinking he can kill me. Double the kills, double the bills. Forgive me, master. I must Red buff unfortunately is an up. We're gonna go for the wave here. Where some see chaos in war, I see opportunity. Argus gonna do some damage. That's a pretty goddamn fast clear, considering I have only boots and level 7. Looks like we're straight up backing. 
I wish I could disable Argus. It's so unfortunate that we're wasting the timer. Good jukes. Gonna level up our two after our one to provide more damage. Looks like our dual lane is now fully struggling without even the enemy jungler being present. Enemy missing middle. Careful left. She's still around, so it's fine. Still isn't left, but we got a back for Chrome spending. Got a word up over here just in case she rotates from her red. I can get some free poke pretty easily. Oh, hello, Set. You cannot chase me. He really thinks he can chase me, huh? Oh, if I hit my two, he would have died. Yeah, guaranteed. Ouch. Rude. I'm gonna return the favor. Oh my god, look at that damage. She has to ult. Yeah, that's perfect. Enemy ultimate down. And she can even come up to apply that damage because she'll die. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Uh, unfortunate. They should have got it. I mean. But we got it the timer, I guess. I'm not a big uh, Hera player to be honest, but the damage that I actually do with my 1 and 2 is quite surprising, I would say. Enemy missing. Enemy spotted. None of that hit. But the damage was there to actually kill him if I had both of those abilities, but I guess the range wasn't there. Looks like Ares is now gonna help me lose my lane as well. Planning is what separates a ruler from a ruler. Okay, that's the king. She's still dashing away. That was a completely useless ult. Unfortunately, we cannot chase them anymore, considering the Yamuja is here. Look at the solo lane, by the way. It looks like Ravana is doing a great job there, without any help or effort. I would be sure that Kukulin is a better pick in solo lane, but looks like... Overall, this Kukulin is not very good. Works in our favor. I don't know what this man is doing. He thinks he can kill me. Look, I have an Aegis and an agent who can deal damage while I'm in Aegis. So, doesn't work in your favor, my man. Emoji's out of position. Let's try and slow her down. Good jump. I need a straight up back here anymore. I cannot stay. I decided to go some sustain before I get some penetration because... There's really not a problem with Emoja or Kukulin anyway, and Set is not building tanky, so I might get a little bit crazy here and get some sustain before I get any sort of penetration. But after that, we should go pen. I got some poke off of that, that's nice, that's why I have a ward there. Looks like Emoja healed the whole the poke back, so... Goddamn the Emojis. Problem with emoji is that she can do that without losing anything. It's not like I got a bit of mana off of their support. There's a big fight in solo lane, it looks like. But they are looking to trap me here because there was a word. I was aware. It looks like she wants me, but... Emoji's abilities are not that easy to hit in range. Okay, that's said again, and I'm safe. I don't know what these guys are thinking. What's the plan here? Scylla has barely any mana. Did she go for my red? It's not even up yet. Uh, Heimdall, meanwhile, getting killed right under the tower by a Neath, of all things. Very unfortunate. Let's look at the girl. If she overstays, she's gonna die, even though Yemoja's there. Yeah, Ares is gonna keep them busy. She just flipped, so she should be pretty much dead here. He still dies to Yemoja. Ah, she still have a 3. I should have waited a little bit. 
We cannot chase her anymore. I'm gonna just simply clear the wave. Looks like Heimdall T beat to his three right off the fountain. That's a very bad thing. He now doesn't have his dash. That's not how you utilize Heimdaller's three. Unfortunate. We're gonna put down this tower just to get some presence on the map. My tower's already dead, so two towers down is pretty good. Considering we lost somehow the tower in solo lane. Our jungler got the mid, but died for it, which is unfortunate. Sets out of position. We can kill her. Not if I miss everything, but he's still running. He's spooked. Oh, that's his beats. You cannot do that, my man. What are you doing? She's still following me. I can ult. Can I? No, I, I better I better get out. I'm way too low. Well, unfortunately, my tower is going down because Kukulin came. Nia decided to be in my lane. I think you can die, my girl. This big guy is gonna chase you. Okay, okay, okay. She has no leap, but now she has one. Good stuff. And she dies for it too, because she decided to help Neath instead of running away. As she should have. I mean, support. She should stay and die before Neath. Uh, Argus can tank a little bit. I got a couple hits, so he won't die immediately and still apply some damage. Yeah. Oh, Seth's here. That's unfortunate. We still secured it. Can we kill? Oh yeah, we can. He should die from Ares damage, yep. Didn't reach with that. Can I reach with my two? I did reach with my two, but it was a little bit too late. This red is up. Look at that. That's nice. We got the enemy red buff. Things looking pretty well for us right now. Not gonna lie. We got a little bit of lead and we're ahead in kills and experience. Seems pretty good. Since they have Emoja and Neath and Set is healing a ton, Kokolin is also famous for healing a lot. We're picking up anti-heal as our penetration option. We're gonna have a small amount of flat pen, but most importantly we're gonna have that anti-heal against Emoja. Um, basically against every single character in the comp. Let's look for a gank on Neath. She's pretty low and she's still going in. Heimdall seemed to have missed his ult. I'm gonna kill her now. Yeah. Oh, she still got the Heim. <laughs> oh, God damn, how much damage does he do with that? I did not expect him to expected him to die there. Oh, that's a lot of people. We need to back off. I got some shield, but I'm definitely gonna die here. Yeah. My Aegis is one second away, but it probably wouldn't have saved me. And look at our jungler trying to kill the solo lane. That's not gonna happen. So there was a fight mid and Scylla ran away on her ult. That means that in the next minute, we can kill her if we want. Just gonna defend that tower, because Heimdall is not paying attention, it looks like. Hello, Neath. Get some damage. Ares healed her up back again. That's unfortunate. She's backing off as she should be. Planning is what separates a ruler from a warmonger. Enemy spotted. Attack! Left Attack! Left. She's way out of position. She overstayed. We can kill her. The knockup didn't go off. I missed my initial hit. But that should kill her anyway. Yep, that's an Aegis. 
I'm gonna juke here a little bit. I'm definitely dead because my team is trying to kill the enemy support, which is a really good idea. Always works well. At this point, we're building into more uh, percentage penetration with the Soul Reaver because it's a pretty good high power item, gives us more mana and also gives us passive penetration and percentage penetration. So pretty good. Looks like we got Neath. Mulan finally... Oh, she's out of position. They're not here. They're chasing Neath. They're chasing Mulan. We can just take this Gold Fury for free. I'm gonna pop Argus here just to make that damage. Look at that damage. That's a lot of damage. Good stuff. I wish Heim realized that he didn't need to tank this whole thing and lose half of his HP. It's pretty hard to communicate that in VGS and these people are not in comms. We have pressure in all lanes except for the solo laner, so I think I'll just pop this tower, just apply pressure on Kukulun, who's been very annoying in my lane. Oh, Seth's here. Gonna back off. Since mid is down and I cannot push up that deep, like Ares does, and probably gonna die very soon. Uh, I'm just going to apply pressure in the right lane where the tier 2 is still up. They're doing the pyro and I can stop this quite easily. He will follow me here. I'm going to die. That's about the best I can do at this point in time because we got caught out of position and my team is nowhere around me. Oh, I guess my whole team died right after I made that poor rotation. The initial mistake was mine, but everybody just kept fighting one by one and kept dying, so we now lose both of the objectives with no chance to contest it. Uh, the best thing I can do in this situation is just farm up in the left jungle, get as much thing, as many things as I possibly can. Wow, they, they chickened out, they didn't go for the fire, what the hell? That was so free! Well, I guess that works pretty well in our favor. They just decided to not take the fire giant, even though it was completely free. Maybe they anticipated me walking in on five people and deciding to kill myself. So they chickened out and I, I wasn't a big fan of that, but it worked in our favor overall. Now actually everybody on our team are up and alive. And we are not rotating for the fire. Bye for now. Ares gets burned out before he even applies the ult, which is unfortunate, but we're gonna get this guy over here. Pop our Argus with our three up. Scylla is very much poked out. I got rooted by Kokolan. I didn't feel like I was rooted. That was weird. Pretty good fight. I wasted my two here. He still got out of this, huh? Oh wow, I have to ages this. That was spooky. I would have definitely died. Looks like my team is also not gonna take the fire giant for some reason. That's very, very unfortunate. We get him back here. So the gold feeder just spawned. They didn't have a timer. We're simply gonna burn it down as fast as possible and rotate for the fire giant. Successfully as well. They didn't initiate on the fire giant, nothing is happening, but Heimdaller is rotating towards the wrong thing. The man secures his purple. I mean, that's probably how he feels considering he's out farmed by our support. They're all looking for me. I'm gonna pop this and just hide myself inside the Argus as much as I can. Yeah, my whole team is just doing whatnot instead of killing the jungler. Looks like the left my red buff for some reason. We're gonna grab that. That's very much appreciated. Neither of the teams wanna commit into the fire giant pit for some reason. And that just puts me in the situation where I don't know what to do because the obvious thing would be to take the fire giant here and we're not going for it. Okay, he's still on me, but a lot of people here and I still have ages. 
still gonna get me. That's the reason why I don't really think that Mulan Jungle is a very good pickup. She was completely helpless here and this set doesn't even have damage. So a huge fight broke out in right lane. I'm not there so it's 4v4. I hope they do realize that. But I would not bet on that. We're just gonna straight up push mid lane here. We might get a, a tier 2 tower. Don't worry, champ. I'm sure you help. Great catch. Gonna ward up Fire Giant on my way there. Just to make sure that we don't need to buy another ward. There's the fight. We have an ult. We're gonna do a lot of things here if they don't notice me coming. Those are the things. We need to chase that down. That's Scylla, Ultimates, and Aegis. I am tanking the tower for some reason, but it's fine. Most of their team is dead. We need to go for fire. We're too poked out to siege, but we can safely take the fire giant if they all come. Uh, Heimdall doesn't know how the fire giant works, which is unfortunate because Argus tanking it would have been a much better choice. He now have decreased damage and I'm not no longer sure. Yeah, I'm dead. Don't have my three, don't have my Aegis. <laughs> that was super unfortunate. I might have had probably better chances just staying in the pit and hoping that it dies fast enough. Mulan's whole kit got dropped and he barely got a low. His basics actually did more damage than his whole kit. That's fucking insane. Why do you play Mulan in jungle? She's shit, man. Not only Ares manages to die contesting a gold fury against five people, he also burns his ult while he is at it. Expecting to... I'm not even sure to get what. Nobody in his sane mind would bees. Okay, there's a fight breaking out. Our Heimdaller is already dead, so we're gonna drop an ult on somebody who matters and try to deal some damage. That worked out pretty well for us. At least I managed to get both Neath and Scylla, so now they have a really hard time sieging. If they kill Set, they just straight up cannot siege. Okay, so Scylla is here, she's gonna straight up die. Never mind, I'm gonna die instead. Neath is also in me. Yeah, that's a very, very swift death. Well, they got our Neath Phoenix. Looks like this game is over. We're gonna struggle just a little bit. I still apply pretty decent damage over there. Oh, he wanted me. He's fighting Argus, that's not the play, my man. Okay. Planning is what separates a ruler from a warmonger. I guess we're gonna just straight up push out this lane. Get some farm, maybe get the speed potion, get some items. Sixth item would be preferable. Not gonna overstay if Set catches me. I'm gonna die here pretty easily. Looks like they are doing the fire giant. Our best bet would be to do the Oni Gold Fury. Because engaging in the fire giant might be a big mistake for us. So taking the Gold Fury and allowing the waves to push themselves out would be a better option here. Retreat right lane. They should see us by now, but we just straight up take this. Looks like Ares decided to die despite. Yikes! 
He also gets soloed by just jungler, which is unfortunate. Oh, that's a mistake, my man. You cannot do that. Not like this, you know. Yeah, I don't know what he's thinking here. He had the wrong idea from my previous kills. I now deal a lot more damage and have anti-heal. We do struggle a lot with tanks. Right now I'm going to pick up Obsidian Shard in, in hopes of dealing more damage to Kukulin and Emoja. Because apparently nobody on our team built to actually open these kind of beans and Mulan just burned her beats. Don't be defined by this mistake. That's really nice. He also, she also burns down her blink, doing nothing, which is even better. We're gonna stick around, just wait for them to come, because we're not in a position to fight somewhere else, so we're pretty farmed up. And I'm just gonna sit in base, just farm enough for our obsidian shard. If I get caught here, I'm probably not gonna die since all of my teammates are around, and something good might actually happen. And another sentry ward, that's about the best we can get. And just stay here and wait for the enemy team to come and make a mistake. Where like a mistake like chaos? this, for example, where Neath is alone in left lane. Stay here. Retreat. Return to base. Silence. I guess I've muted the wrong person. Mulan picked up my red buff, which is just great. But Neath should be out of position here. Not even gonna give her any chances or wrong ideas. Straight up murder the girl. And Set is split pushing, so I'm gonna immediately back. Because he's hoping to get that Phoenix while the fight in mid is breaking out. No, he rotates. Okay, that was a mistake. He should have split pushed. <laughs> I'll send Argus in and just apply the Divines to best my ability. Maintain my distance because yeah, here it is. Set is just chasing me straight up. And he's gonna murder me. Yep, because nobody's paying attention. Look at my team. Uh, now Heimdall is gonna get murdered. And they're, they're pushing. They're going in. Yep, now Mulan is getting murdered. <laughs> they're, st they're still fighting. Look at these series. <laughs> Oh no, they killed somebody. I don't think Scylla can push the Phoenix uh, good enough, but like... They should get it. No. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at... What is she doing? He has this too. He utilizes it correctly. Yemoja's tanking. They're gonna get the Phoenix back, but that's about the best they get. Straight up just gives away the Phoenix instead of focusing the Scylla. He decides to dance around and do fuck all and they get another phoenix 100 to 0 with a mage this is just great that's something you want to see every day don't you that kind of decreases the, our chances of being able to win this game but we're still gonna struggle it's ranked for god's sake we're gonna get it We're gonna push out the wave and we're gonna back. I don't wanna get caught by set or something like that. Looks like Heimdallir got caught again. He's definitely dying here. Okay, he used this three. And Scylla got caught out of position, tried to chase him down. That worked pretty well for us. We lost the Gold Fury for it because Neath is definitely in left lane all the time. But at least Heimdall survived, so we're on the better spot right here. We can get some time on our phoenixes to respawn. They're definitely doing fire, and we definitely need to contest. Attack the Gulf Fury. Oh wait, I'm tripping here. The Gulf Fury's down. Oh, I made a huge mistake, but it's fine. My brain just doesn't function anymore properly. <laughs> We're gonna join this fight. Maybe if we join it late and not allow Set to ult us, actually good things might happen. The good things didn't happen. We're still in trouble. We're gonna hold off to our ult still. 
What we need to kill is Neath because she's gonna have the most damage on the objective. That's set. He might die for the. Oh no, my man! You don't fight this. You don't fight this at all. That's my three. That's Ares ult. I cannot be a part of. Neath is still alive, but Set is finally dead. Gonna burn her down to the best of her ability. She's dead. Overall, they just have Scylla alive, who can actually kill people. And it would be a good time to actually push, but we have too many waves coming from all directions. I need to de defend that, so in case they get the Phoenixes back, there won't be any damage to maintain on the, on the Titan. It's, a lot, it's something that a lot of people just don't pay attention to. Like, if you don't really have damage on the Titan, taking the Phoenix back is not as much important. Yes, the waves do push themselves, but the, the important thing is to maintain the, the Titan pressure. So eventually, if you whittle it down enough, you can walk back into the base and just, just finish the game right in front of the enemy team. But here right now, if we don't apply any damage to the Titan, then there's nothing to maintain. I'm gonna push out to the mid-map and straight up back, because Set is not on the map. That should give our waves enough time to defend themselves and defend the phoenix that just spawned. So we can actually group up and be in a position to do stuff. I'm gonna ward up over here, another sentry ward. I'm warded, okay, so we're gonna hold on to our ward. Looks like they're pushing right and left, and I am gonna murder this bitch. Because if I do that successfully, we might have a chance at winning the game. Is she still pushing? No, it looks like she backed. Okay, then we're back in as well. You, uh, you gonna start getting kills too? Or we got a pick on Scylla. Neither's not around. This is a good opportunity for us to win. Argus, to my side. Good old. We can't lose the mid Phoenix, but we cannot just not chase we have an opportunity to win this game where some see chaos in war i see opportunity i'm dollar wants to fight set now nah, but set is straight up running he's trying to buy as much time as he can and he does that successfully unfortunately but if we collapse on him and still catch him we're still gonna have enough time with him being dead i need to grab that i just cannot not grab that he finally got chain. He has nowhere to go. That's great. Oh, come on. Are you still letting him go? There you go. 765. That's a lot of damage. Mulan's coming up. Set is dead for a whole minute. I'm gonna back away. Push out the right. Grab the power elixir. This is it. This is the time of our lives. We're gonna win this game or we're gonna lose this game. It's decided in the next fight. Unless my team just engages straight up right now without me being anywhere near. Okay, Neath just dropped the Gold Fury. My team might collapse on the Emoja. It might work. Meanwhile, half a minute till set response and we are on even ground. Be careful. Overall, a solid down. minute of doing nothing. Very unfortunate. Fire giant. Enemy we are on even ground Attack. indeed. Fire we giant. need to push this. We need to force the fire giant fight. They're taking the pyro. We don't have ward coverage. Just YOLO. Let's just YOLO fight and see what happens, I guess. Dropping the Argus, applying the damage, applying the anti-heal. Kukulin's on me, but that's too late. You're not the person that can murder me, my man. You're gonna die for that. Ares is ulting here. That's always exciting to see. That's set. Murdering himself. And that's game. Just like my hopes and dreams. Up my tech. Yep, that's it. Like I said, the next fight is gonna do it. Either we lose it or win it. 
and despite the anyways pushing our towers and they're gonna take both phoenixes it's not important they're not gonna take the titan in time Overall, very intense, uh, a bit of a shit show, but pretty intense game, pretty even at that we had ups and downs throughout the gameplay. I made a couple of major mistakes, although my teammates made, made a couple of major mistakes. Overall, our opponents made a lot of major mistakes. People made mistakes, you need to not forget about that. Like I said, we're going Chronos Penna start, we're going into boots, uh, we're building into Bancraft for some sustain, penetration option is uh, divine because they have so much healing. Percentage penetration from Soul Reaver, right at the hoodie because it's just insane power spike, especially when they're a bit low on health. Obsidian Shard because Kokolan and Emoja are a big trouble, so we need to kill them and actually apply significant damage to them to deter them from killing myself and other people. We're part of 35 kills out of 49 which is more than anyone else on the team or on the field. Comparatively this to enemy Scylla, she built incorrectly, uh, her presence is pretty negligible. She's also severely our farm and she's still not 6 items. In terms of damage, we are surprisingly not top on the field but very close to that. Funny enough, Mulan did all the, uh, most of the damage on the field with me being very very close second. And the next obviously is the enemy set who is carrying their team. Comparatively our support is out damaging the enemy support. It's Yemoja which is understandable by almost twice the amount. Our solo laners is getting completely destroyed. His impact was next to none and he was one of the ma major reasons we were losing along with our Heimdallia who is also lowest damage on the team right next to our Ares. Barely any significance, barely any presence and also 5 amazing wars and 47 minutes put down which kind of tells a very very good story comparatively to enemy EDC who also barely did anything and also worded the same amount it was even worse than that and that's neat for god's sakes me compared to the enemy Scylla obviously over one and a half times damage than the enemy Scylla Pretty significant, I am also the most wards on the field, along with our support who did a good job warding. Overall nobody put down like extremely low amount of wards, like zero, but 5 of wards in 74 minutes is a very 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 poor warding. And our junglers comparatively are dealing in same numbers, obviously set, obviously late game, not obviously, move on for some reason, catching people off guard and racking up these numbers. And yes, Hera. Hera mid uh, ranked pretty surprisingly powerful despite her not having mobility. Yes, you can follow her pretty easily, no you cannot kill her as easy as any other mage without mobility. She has a huge shield, she has a move speed steroid, she has Argus who can deal a lot of damage even when she's under Aegis which is extremely important. She can transform you self heal, she can deal a lot of damage. She is pretty safe despite her not having a dash. You have to keep in mind your positioning and the amount of damage you can soak up. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and ring that notification bell and helps the YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people which is much appreciated. If you like the video, leave a like on the video, it has the same idea. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment, I respond to every single comment on my channel. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.